What's up everybody, The Legend of W is back in Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers Edition with PC mods. So in the last video, everybody thinks that Surge is a cat, so if you haven't seen the last video, make sure to go ahead and check it out. Now, well, Surge is Lynx now, so yeah, that's the whole reason why everybody thinks he's a cat. Anyways, uh, we got some new friends, of course. We got uh, uh, Harley, and we have... Um, Damn it, I forgot his name already. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Radius, I was gonna call him R R Rion or something. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go to Fossil Valley because I imagine, I mean, we're supposed to go to Termina. So I imagine we're supposed to go here. I mean, obviously, because if not, yeah, look, they moved on up. Th there he is again. Why does he look like that? What is he? Uh, our investigation is done. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, I wanna go back to poor, poor. Uh, poor? Poor it? Or poor? I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm not gonna fight this guy. Okay, mm -hmm. I knew it. There's some chests here. Lynx received the infrared vision frame. Okay, cosmetic. That it's rare to find these things. Alright, we're out. So, let's go to Termina. And see what's different. Uh, whoa. Okay, this is a little different. I see the red flags. Uh, Lynx, how dare you have the nerve to return to this town? Get out of here! Uh, we're not welcome here. Looks like the youngins, an uh, un youngins, an unwanted guest here too. Oh, right. Looks like the youngins, an unwanted guest too. Uh, humans are very selfish, no? To think that they used to bow their heads down to curry favor with Monsieur Lynx. There's always searching for someone or something to lay their blame on. I know, I'm trying to up my tone a little bit with Harley's voice. Uh, should we go to the inn? I don't know what to do here around town. We, we just gotta find some information. Huh? It can't be you, Sir Lynx. You are safe, sir. Where have you been all this time? We have set up a temporary military dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from Commander Norris. Not even you, Sir Lynx. Oh, wow. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Please report your current status to him immediately. Okay, so now we know where we must go. Uh, I think I'll explore a little bit first, and if not, just go to Viper Manor. Nobody here. Uh, whoa. Uh, hey. Are you looking for my father? I'm very sorry, but he's out in the forest gathering mushrooms. I even told him that we're doing inventory tomorrow. <sighs> I wonder when he'll be coming back. That mushroom hobby of his drives me crazy. Uh, one day he's going to turn into a mushroom himself. Oh, that... Hey, what's going on here? Uh, not doing anything? Hey, that should do it. This here forge has always had a fire since Alden times. Tis sad to see it without its blaze. Hmm. Ah, uh, my apologies. Closing the shop for my own selfish desires. Uh, okay, a Zappa's wife, Zipper. I've had to listen to ye for the, uh, the longest time, and I deny uh, want to hear ye say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So, you're really going? I, now that I deny, deny have the shop no more, like say, it's time to finish what we started long ago. You stay here and wait for Karsh's return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been too good to us. Our best patrons, patrons, the Dragoons, disappear. The poor military gets on our arses. Well, since we've had such bad luck, I'm sure things will be good from here on out. Our son's probably fine as well. I. Okay, I, is that it? Can I recruit you, please? I want to recruit. Uh, Rot Radius. It's been a while. How fares the village? You need not worry about the village. There are bigger things. Uh, bigger things to concern us. I'm guessing you're no from around here. Do you ken a thing called rainbow? It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. 
I'm thinking of searching for some. You wouldn't mind if I joined you. Uh, joined, yeah, eh? Uh, let him join. Uh, hey, great. Then I'll give you a, a wee token. Use this anytime, and I'll find you and do my job anywhere you happen to be. And, uh, happen to be, I'll give my word. All right. Lynx received Smith Spirit. All right, that's good. Cool. Zappa joined your party. All right. This place isn't a mansion anymore. Uh, well, from this world, the home world, is, it's not a mansion. So, I I'm starting to understand. Uh, Surge's time in his world, in the home world, this is the past, and that other world is the future. I mean, it kind of makes sense, obviously, right? I don't know. Phew. Uh, Van's, oh, Van's father, Go. Are you Van's friends? He's over in the back room. Okay, th that's it? You're not gonna say anything else? <laughs> what? What are you su so surprised about, huh? What? Uh, at least not before you answer! <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry? Uh, are you guys tourists? If you want, I'd be willing to guide you around. Of course, there's a small fee involved. I think it's a bargain. How about it? Uh, sure, hire him. Uh, you got it. Uh, th that is... Uh, what? That is... Huh? Well, what, what, what is... What it, that, that was what? Uh, you've had long enough to pay your debts. And I'm not going to wait any longer. Oh, either you pay up now or I'll have you move out of this house. But what will happen to my son and me? That's none of my concern. I just want to make this place into my personal storage for my precious treasures. Hey, wait, I'll pay the debt. Well, this is amusing. How is our little Mr. Van doing today? Uh, how much uh, how much have you saved from your allowance? Yeah, yeah, very funny. This is what I've got. <laughs> this won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Tisk. Uh, just wait a little bit more. Then I'll be able to get the money you need. What are you planning to do, little Van? Don't waste your energy on something stupid. I'm going to. I'm going with these guys to search for the frozen flame. So please, wait just a little longer. Uh, <laughs> just listen to you. You're pretty bright, but you're still just a kid. It's so naive of you to believe in a fairy tale like the frozen flame. Hmm. Of course, it's a joke, isn't it? Uh, no, we're serious. Very amazing. You actually believe that legend? Are you people crazy or something? <laughs> Not a bad joke, though. The frozen flame is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures, even if it's just a legend. There's something very tempting about it. Huh. <laughs> Alright, I will wait a little longer. Have the frozen flame ready by the time I come back here. Be careful not to burn yourself. Although you'll probably never find it. <laughs> hmm. How arrogant of her to push us around just because we're poor. If only we had money. If we did, this never would have happened. Hey, hey, Vaughn. None of that. Besides, even though we don't have money. I don't want to hear that from you, Dad. Where, where are we going to live as of tomorrow? We're out of money because we're not selling any of the paintings we have in this room. I'm sorry, Van. These pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. I only want to sell pieces that I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. Fine. Then I'm going to have to be the one to find us a place to live. Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's absolutely, positively, nothing here for you, so there's no point hanging around. Uh, thanks. What? Thank you for going along with my bogus story. Uh, oh. 
I guess he won't. Hmm. I think it's a pretty good picture, so why won't it sell? Dad isn't too active about selling his work. He says cocky things like he'll only sell it to those who understand it. Oh well. I guess I'll have to come up with the money myself. Okay, let's see. My piggy bank is... Yup, it's here. Okay, the money's in here too. Now the hardest part is finding a place to live. Damn, I... Next, we have... What is that? Dad's homemade painting color, El Nido Blue. Wow, interesting. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were Dad, I would have sold this paint by itself and made a fortune off it. It's funny, so in, in the home world, the kid's kind of acting like his dad in the other world. Uh, interesting. Uh, what's in the third frame? This seashell. Mom. The only remaining reminder between me and Mom is this shell. It's cracked. I can't even hear the sound of the sea. But I... I remember it all. Mom found the shell and held it gently to my ear. And I remember that sound. The sound of the sea. I also got mad because I couldn't take home the sandcastle I made that day. And now, we have to move out of the house Mom and I lived in. But don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Dad for you. Damn. I know about that. It was very sad. Uh, Van, uh, Van always... Uh, had a hard time dealing with our troubles. Ever since he was a child, I made him do without so many things that he's grown a bit sarcastic. Yet he is a very kind. Uh, he is very kind at heart, like his mother always was. One day I hope I can let him do as he pleases, just like other children. <laughs> Interesting. You guys are still here. You need something, or are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually, what were you just saying? What you, what you were just saying? We really are looking for the frozen flame. Huh? If you're being sarcastic, you gotta be. Uh, you got me pretty ticked. Oh, I get it. Are you trying to cheer me up or something? Don't underestimate me because I'm a kid. I know that uh, that no such thing exists in this world. Or are you all some kind of simpletons? Uh, whether you believe it or not is up to you. Stop looking at me like that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth. Even I can see that. But I can't do it. I just can't leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand, although it's tempting. I'll, I'll be alright, Vaughn. You don't have to find any frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go out into the world and broaden your horizons. Of all the people in the world, only a handful live in happiness. No, maybe even those who look happy aren't really happy at all. <laughs> True story. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness, uh, what real happiness means. So, go. Damn. Dad. Vaughn. Just be careful to lock up at night. It'd be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will. Be careful out there. Oh yes. Just uh, wait just a moment. We're gonna get a new item. Oh, boomerang. Uh, take this with you. This is... a boomerang? Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What am I going to do with this? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there will be danger. This should help you when that time comes. And... 
A boomerang comes back when it's thrown, when it is thrown. I want it to be a reminder to you. So it's good luck. It's a good luck charm, huh? Hmm. I don't care for such things, but oh well. I'll take it with me, just in case. Good, good. All right, we gotta go before she comes back again. All right, Vaughn joined your party. Hey, we got a second member. Cool. Oh, hey, uh, you're alive. Hey, you want to join me for some hot stew? Uh, I'll, it'll cost you though. Let's see. I know. Bring me a mushroom. Uh, I'll give you that treasure if you're able to find uh, one that will impress me. A mushroom? Like, like, do I have a mushroom? I don't. No, I don't. Mm. Is this thing dead? Uh. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh. That was creepy. Wow, I made it out. Uh, you sure did. Uh, you can. Phew. I made it inside okay, but I couldn't find the exit. Thanks for your help. Uh, please accept this as a token of my appreciation. I found it inside this cave. Uh, Link's received mushroom. All right, there we go. We got the mushroom. Hey, let me see that mushroom. Uh, whoa, this is a rare mushroom found only in Guardia. It's so, or so it seems. Anyway, what do you say we make a deal? Your mushroom or my treasure? I guess I should accept. I, should I accept? I don't even know. I, uh, this better be good. Yeah, it better be good. Oh, this rich fragrance. Chomp, chomp. He was just hungry. Mmm, the way it melts in your mouth. Yet, how the firm texture brings out the flavor there's a taste expert did uh, did uh, oh he turned into a mushroom delicious he became a mushroom man that was good uh, you're a mushroom uh, what do I have something on my face uh, it, yes you're, you're a mushroom now huh Ah, 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 chew! Bless you, man. Huh? Uh, what the? No! A mushroom monster! Uh, uh, fun guy, that's his name. Uh, how could you do this to me? It's all your fault! Sorry. Why don't you join us? The frozen flame should be able to change you back to normal. Uh, fine, that's it. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll stalk you through the depths of hell. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, chew! <laughs> yeah, bless you again. Fun guy joined your party. Okay, uh, let me guess. Is he green? Uh, I just want to see him. Oh, he's yellow. Okay, got it. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? Pa, le pa left again in search for a new mushroom. Uh, Papa. He's at it again. Where is this irresponsible man? Uh, wait a minute. Guards, we could go up this way. Uh, this area is under poor military control. No admittance until the investigation is over. Uh, wow. It's just ruins. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. Uh. <sighs> Time sure does fly. I was shocked to hear of Dario's death three years ago. And now, the general and the others are missing. The matter is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I have discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved and has involved him in some kind of incident the only difference with the other world you talk about is that something happened to the general 3 years ago here 
I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. Let's see. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. I do not find it amusing. It isn't amusing at all. I was here before. Please enter through here to get to the basement of Viper Manor. Oh, you mean here? Here? Okay, got it. Now, how? Oh, go up here. And... I mean, I'm not supposed to go here. I'm not taking a shower or anything. Let's head this way. Talk to this guy. Sir! Sir Norris is up this ladder, sir! Okay, uh, thank you. Hey, I recognize this place. I couldn't go through this door. Now I can, huh? Alright, it's locked. Open it. Wait, I have a, a, a key to this, right? Parlor key? Uh, no, oh no, no, I made a mistake. I, I don't know why I keep thinking the parlor key. Anyways, report. You'll find Sir Norris in here. Okay. Uh, what about you? This seems to be the only accessible room. Alright, let's go in. Hello, Sir Norris. Report. Sir Lynx, it has been a while, sir. It's been a while. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. There is still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. Hmm, disappointing. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than I remember. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who you might be? Who might you be? I am Radius, a Dragoon. Although, I have been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former four Devas? It is an honor to meet you, sir. I believe you, sir, but it is still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is that of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. It is up to you, uh, it is up to you what you want to believe. So what business did you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very, very, uh, very well. I will tell you what I know. Alright, overnight? Once upon a time, uh, it was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so I was sent to El Nido, our, our archipelago, as a spy. Oh, as a spy? I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor. Oh yeah, he was um the, the assistant in the kitchen. But it appeared as though General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Poor, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared, and that the manor had been destroyed. Hmm. I heard only recently that there is good evidence the General and his men headed to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail, we could find no entrance. Hmm, and Lynx wants me to go there, huh? <laughs> we'll see. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wished to change this distorted world using the frozen flame. No, oh, whoa, Harley got excited. Ooh la la, such a grand, such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Hold your tongue. Zoot. So, the Dead Sea. Tell us, that ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we were looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plans, 
it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There is no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about one either. Yes, I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marbul, of Marbul know something about this, but they detest humans, especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go with you. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists, and about everything that has happened here. What about you? Hmm, moi? But of course, I will follow. Z I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. Uh, the uh, other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, there is a military boat docked in Termina. Let us use that. All right, Norris enlisted in your party. Enlisted. That's right. We get to go to the boat. Uh, let me just speak with this guy first. Uh, I'm on the lookout. I'm on look uh, lookout. I'm on lo uh, lookout duty, watching for suspicious ships. Don't bother me. Okay, so jeez. Let's go. Hurry up, Harley. Uh, yeah. So where am I supposed to go again? I forgot already. Oh boy. Oh hey, looks like uh, we have a party here. Okay. Uh, I guess we might be able to recruit uh, Nikki. And maybe one of the girls, uh, one of the dancers, I don't know. Magical dreamers, hey. Uh, ah, what a life. I have absolutely nothing to do. Do you envy me? Uh, yes. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Okay. Uh, I'm very sorry, but I'm forbidden to talk to passengers. Okay, no problem. Uh, I can't wait to see Nikki's concert. That ship you're looking at belongs to Nikki. He tours the world on that ship. Oh, Nikki, take me with you. Wow. Hey, have you guys been to an island called Marbul? It used to be a beautiful place where mermaids lived, but now it's infested by nasty-looking mar- uh, monsters. I was gonna say marbles. <laughs> uh, that's where all the demi-human workers on the ship are from. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. The demi-humans say they're happy to just have jobs and receive food for wages. Yeah, sure, I, I bet. Hey, I recognize you. You're one of uh, Nikki's dancers. Uh, young woman. Ha! You're a strange threesome. I thought everyone was here to see Nikki. You don't like, uh, you don't look like typical fans, though. Are you fans? I don't know what to answer here. Yes? Huh, kind of thought you were. Uh, that was that a good thing? Uh, I'm Mickey. I'm the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Uh, nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get goosebumps from the message we tried to convey. We're not all about looks. I hope you understand that. Uh, sure. I mean, she, she looks pretty cool though. Uh, maybe we might recruit her? I don't know if I messed up my chance. Hello, puppy. Uh, oh, there's the captain. Captain! Hello. Hey, you're a new face. Relax and stay a while. This ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves, courtesy of me. Stay as long as you like. Uh, thanks, I, but I want to speak with you a little more. Uh, hey, you're... Uh, I, I guess not. All right, let's go to Sky Dragon Isle. Sure. Um, I think I'm supposed to be here. I, I kind of forgot. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, ooh, this is beautiful. I've never been here. Hello. We've been warned not to go near this place, but we came anyway. We adventurers get all fired up when they tell us not to go somewhere. Uh, sure, uh, this is the land where the sky dragon resides, but after the dragon disappeared, a gigantic monster moved in. 
It took away the star fragment I had worked so hard to get. Well, if I wouldn't have had it, the monster would have taken my life instead. Okay, that's pretty sad. A, a little bubbly whatever you are. Hmm? What is that? Uh, it's a chest. Uh, well, let, let's speak to this guy first. Uh, there's a gigantic monster here. Uh, it seems that the monster won't attack you if you don't have a star fragment. Oh, okay. Uh, it's empty. And needle triangle. Oh boy, this this is gonna be fun, right? Uh, move a little quicker, and we fight. Uh, going in. Yes. Oh, we're underwater. All right, this looks beautiful. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, let me get this chest over here. What do we get? Uh, mithril. I love mithril. Thank you. We gotta go downstairs? Or is that a ladder? It's a ladder. Mm, star fragments? Oh! Damn. Uh, is this thing really gonna be a threat? I mean, come on, let's be honest. Is it gonna be a threat? I doubt it. Needlework? Uh, uh, uh oh. Ooh, whoa, uh, that, that, that was a lot of uh, damage. And you died. Da, 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 da. A bunch of cats and a bunch of fishies. It all ends very badly. And they're still alive. Wow. And he doesn't have a gun, okay? He uses his cane as a katana. Oh, yeah. Good night. They're still alive. Oh, no. They're dead. Okay. Oh. What was that? Uh, can you tell me again? Th uh, that was not the gigantic monster. I'll open this chest now. It's empty. That's... Oh my god. Give me Star Fragment. No. Oh. Whoa. whoa. Um, things have turned really bizarre. We have a, a space alien. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh. Why in it? Okay. It should be hopefully easy to... Oh boy. Um don't 49. Ooh. Okay, that's that's a bit of uh damage there. Maybe we should hit it with No, wait. Hold on. What what do we have here that we can use? Nothing. All right, just hit it with a gravity blow for now. Maybe I should have waited. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We <laughs> go back to space. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's try to get some hits here. Uh, hopefully... Um... Damn. Oh, low res. Should we lower the res or weaken its... Yeah, weaken its attack power instead. Well, hopefully we can do that. Yeah? It worked? Good. This is gonna help us a lot now. Ooh, got him. Uh, radiation. got oh wow uh, that skill worked <laughs> Jesus uh, hit him twice there we go and mm, genius temporarily uh, increases your magical power uh, yeah give that to surge power him up oh yeah let's go um, Surge is at level one. So let's hit him three times, twice. We're doing some very good damage. Um, I say Feral Cats. So that way we could just deal that massive damage. Hopefully. Let's go, kitties! Take out the, the Space Martian! It across. <laughs> 319, beautiful. Anyways, go back to the space. Boom. Damn, not yet. Recover all? No. That's that's not good. Please, wait, wait hit him twice. Three times. Okay. And... Mm. Let, 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 let's recover all. I, I want to play it safe. 
you never know if we don't have our powers and then all of a sudden like we just get hurt and yeah that, that would suck a lot Are you kidding me all right come on harley please help us damage 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 oh it's feeling pain now okay we're, we're getting closer then we gotta smack it around um we don't have anything here long shot might as well use your tech Oh boy. Oh. Feel the pain. But, yeah. We still have a little bit of black magic here. Let's go. Uh. Oh. 43. Still. Um. Once. Three. Is it over? No. The guy is gonna hit Harley! 31. Okay, good. Uh, elements. Mm. Uh, not Hell Soul. Okay, we have no more black elemental attacks. Uh, Bush Basher. Take that. 85. Good, good. Okay. Once. Twice. Oh, boy. Uh, him too. Good. We got him. Woo! Finally! Damn, that was a tough fight. Had a lot of HP. But level up? No? Okay, fine. Uh, magical negate. Ooh. Okay. So the real body of the monster was this small? Uh, nah, 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 uh mysterious creature. Whoopee pee! Star fragment mine! Catch him with X. Catch up! Hey! Hey! Yeah! 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 Give it back! Uh, I sucked! I sucked! I got caught! You win! Who are you? I come from faraway stars! But Starkey's ship fall from sky! Star fragment is Starkey's ship fragment! The ship turned to fragments after crash! So that's why you were collecting fragments. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Starkey will come with you. All right, Starkey joined your party. Cool. I Starkey, <laughs> it's amazing to have a a, a Martian, a uh, white element, of course. Wow. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for now. So I've got quite a number of party members and I'm still a little confused what I'm supposed to do to continue with the story. I, I went to the ship and I spoke with the captain and he didn't really, he just welcomed me and that was it. Like nothing triggered to continue the story is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, uh, I'll try to figure out what I'm supposed to do and uh, take care of that in the next video. So stay tuned for more of Chrono Cross the Radical Dream is coming soon. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, hit the bell notification so that way you know when I upload next time. And I'll see you later in the next video. Peace.